You know, it's been almost three months now since a flood of Floridians started losing their jobs due to the pandemic. And while a lot of businesses are now getting back to work, a lot of nonprofits like BEAM, the Beaches Emergency Assistance Ministry, are really seeing an uptick in the number of people still needing help. Emmanuel Stitt says he was at the top of his career working in the transportation industry at the Players Championship when the pandemic rocked his world. It affected everyone um, unexpectedly. Everyone was surprised. It was just devastating. He suddenly found himself laid off from the job he had held for nearly seven years. I was getting to where I was getting to have to make a decision. Hey, I got to cut cost here, hit a rent here, but then I'm cutting into the food money and so forth like that. And when I'm going into funds, I never to think about spending, um, going to funds of my retirement and things of that nature. And seeing that, I'm like, wow, then I was in a place to where I actually say, wow, I need help. That's when he reached out to the Beaches Emergency Assistance Ministry, known as BEAM, which helped him with food and rent. And he's not alone. In May, BEAM helped 280 households with rent and utility payments, providing more than $130,000 to keep families in their homes. That's a 330% increase compared to May of last year. We have seen a, um, an increase that is just astronomical and it does not seem to be abating so far. Lori Richards, executive director of BEAM, says more than 60% of the people who have reached out to her organization since the end of March have never accessed its services in the past. People that we're beginning to hear from now are people who perhaps did have some emergency savings and that has run out or who thought they would be back to work by now, but are not back full time or maybe not back at all. Stitz is grateful to have just gotten his job back last week and for Beam's support. They did help me with my rent this month and thank you, dear Lord, I think I'm so grateful for that and my blessings came upon and now hey, I'm back at work and so everything is working out and I will always be indebted in my heart with Beam and what they do and I will volunteer anytime I get some time a chance to help them out to help someone else but they've been they're, they're wonderful. He is so grateful and now just wants to pay it forward. And if you're in a position where you can help others, a Beam invites you to donate to its Keep Their Homes campaign. That money that they raise will go to help families pay their rent and utility bills. And Beam serves those who live and who have worked at, in the beaches area. So if you're someone who needs help, you need assistance, I've posted contact information for Beam in this story on firstcoastnews.com.